Texas Senator Ted Cruz. Senator Cruz, welcome as always, sir. So I just had this little vignette. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre refused to walk back her bogus claim today. Listen to this. Immigration is down by 90 percent. Listen to this, please, Senator. You said yesterday that when it comes to illegal migration, you've seen it come down by more than 90 percent. Where did that number come from? It was, because I was CBP speaking. is telling us the number is. I hear you. I'm about to answer. I'm about, people more I'm about to answer you. Year so if you, far. if you, if the dramatics could come down just a little bit. I, um, it, if the dramatics could come down a little what's bit. What's dramatic about asking a question about? Okay, I'm, I'm going to answer. So I was speaking to the parolee program. As you know, the president put in place a parolee program to deal with, uh, to deal with certain countries uh, on, on ways that we can limit illegal migration. And we have seen, the data has shown us that it has gone down by more than 90 percent. That was what I was speaking and to. to no, I'm, really we're, we're going to go. We're going to move. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're moving, Peter. Let's go. Well, I don't, I don't know what she's talking about, 90 percent. I mean, you, I'm looking, Senator Cruz, uh, illegals in, t in fiscal 21, 1.7 million. In fiscal 22, 2.8 million. Year to date, six months worth, 1.5 million. And Title 42 is running out, so the whole thing's going to double in the next six months. And, Senator, I don't understand. 1,500 troops, they do not have the power to arrest or deport. So I'm just saying, um, with no disrespect, they're like babysitters. They're just processing. I don't understand what this is all about, sir. Well, Larry, I'm sorry to say Corrine Jean-Pierre is the most brazen liar ever to take the podium at the White House press briefing. She lies routinely, and it's not spin. Look, we expect White House press secretaries to spin, to have a take on the facts. Okay, that's, that's part of discourse. But she stands up there and just gives flat-out falsehood. She just said, and you just played it, that under Biden, illegal immigration has dropped 90 percent. Now, that's not kind of sort of right. It's not a little bit right. It hasn't dropped at all. And in fact, let's just do some simple math. In the year 2020, the last year of the Trump presidency, we had the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. We were achieving incredible success in securing our border. Joe Biden came in, he opened up the border, and within days of his being sworn in, the numbers skyrocketed. We have today, we went from the lowest rate of illegal immigration to the highest rate in history. So it didn't drop at all. It didn't drop 90%. It didn't drop 80, 70, 60, 50, 40. It dropped zero. Instead, it rose massively. And we have seen over six million illegal immigrants cross the border under Joe Biden. And the amazing thing is, Corinne Jean-Pierre says that. She just flat out lies. And she says that all the time. She's also stood at that podium and said, people are not just walking across the border. Look, you're playing next to me. Videos of people swimming across the river, walking across the border. You're playing that right now. And she just flat out lies. Now, two things are amazing. Number one, at the end of the day, that's not as much her fault as it is Joe Biden's. Joe Biden is the president. And when you send out a liar to lie on behalf of the White House at the White House podium, that's Joe Biden lying and being perfectly willing to lie to the American people. But number two, her, just, just the blatancy with which she does this mm. well, is a complete indictment of the corporate media because Fox will ask her about it. But where's CNN? Where's ABC? Where's NBC? Where's CBS? Where's MSNBC? They don't care that she is standing there flat out lying to the American well, people. The fact that she does that is, is a complete and total indictment of today's corporate media. Well, okay. I just want to go back to this. The, the news of the day is this uh, 1,500 troops. Yeah. But look, it, I don't mean any disrespect. I'm very pro-military. But in a sense, they're babysitters. They don't have the power to arrest or deport. And so I don't know why we should waste our military. They are ba babysitters. I mean, look, Senator, it, suppose you said we're going to have 1,500 troops and they're going to launch a war against the drug cartels, or we're going to use our military to take out these drug factories in Mexico. Now, that would be something. You know, that's sure. a turn, former AG Bill Barr has talked about this. I think you're in favor of using the military. 
That's what you use the military. All these guys are going to do is process illegal immigrants who come over the border illegally. I mean, I just don't yeah. understand this policy at all. Well, Larry, it's, it's even worse than that. that. They're not babysitters. They are political props. They are window yeah. dressing. Right. So Joe Biden ordered 1,500 troops to our southern border. Why? Because he is in the process of lifting Title 42, the only legal authority they followed to actually deport people. And so the six and a half million people that have crossed illegally, that number is going to go up. It's going to go up. And Joe Biden and Kamala Harris want that six million mm. to become 10 million, to become 12 million, to become 15 million. And so the troops are there to stand in the photographs and say, no. see, we're doing something. Right. But you put your finger on exactly the right point. You could have 10,000 troops on the border, and it wouldn't stop this problem because the reason for this crisis is that Joe Biden won't deport the people who come. Yep. Instead, he does catch and release. So if you had 10,000 troops, they'd catch someone, they'd hand them over to the Biden administration, and the Biden administration would put that person on a plane or on a truck or on a bus and drop them off in your community. Until they change that, no amount of political props, and sadly, Biden uses the military as props regularly right. instead of actually stepping forward and solving the national security crisis we have at our southern border. Yes, sir. All right, I'll leave it there. Senator Ted Cruz, thanks very, very much.